This is it. There, there to here. That's it, guys. That's the last pass. Whoa. That's it, guys. That was the last load of rice in the last field. We are officially done with the 2018 California rice harvest. And boy, was it a tough, boy, one. tough one. Tough one. Was it a tough, tough one. one? Tough one. The rice went down and got lazy. The rice went down, the tractors broke down, my energy is down. The second half of this year's rice harvest has been grueling and long, quite the opposite of the first half. Just a quick recap, morning exercises, fun interviews, great progress. As seen in episode 80, Rice Harvest 2018 in California starts with a sprint. Since then we ran into unripe rice, then it rained. We were forced to stop. That's when the rice went down and became lazy. And once we got started again, that's when the real disasters started. <laughs> Imagine you're cutting along in your harvest combine, everything is seemingly normal, and bam! You just kind of suddenly free fall for two feet in a large rumbling combine that's a long way. Believe me, because that's what happened to me. I didn't drive into a rut or a small ditch. My wheel popped off. More specifically, an extension of my axle connected to the front left track cracked at the weld and completely broke off. The combine completely separated from my front track. How crazy is that? I'll tell you, it's 100% crazy. I know it's 100% crazy because according to Whole Ag Solutions, our regional Kloss Lexion Distributor and Service Center, that's never happened before. It's 100% crazy because Kloss of America headquarters and factory in Omaha says they don't stock the part and don't know when they're making a new one. Never really intended on making a new one for a 12 year old combine probably. <laughs> the mechanics at Whole Ag Solutions did? They go to one of their dealerships an hour away where they have the same make and model 585R Lexion and remove an axle track extension that they need. They bring it up, get in the field, jack up our combine, drag the track out, remove bolts, replace a bent during the fall drive line, install the gusset, and bolt the track back on. We went from a leaning combine with no front track to we don't make nor carry that part to an up and running combine within 24 hours. And aside from the quick mechanic work, Whole Ag Solutions had to sacrifice one of their 585R combines. That, to me, is pretty impressive. Pretty amazing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Pops and I are talking. You know, we depend on this 12-year-old combine to be our major producer. It's cutting the same amount as both our older John Deere's. The girl's a force, but she's getting old. We may need to start thinking about an upgrade. But anyway, things go smoothly. We're cutting away. Although our 80 acres a day cutting rate in standing rice has dwindled down to about 55 acres a day in lazy rice. The weather cooperates. The rice is ripe. We are making progress until BAM! <laughs> The John Deere 9660 CTS, our second best producer, goes down. It goes down hard. The tine rotor tube, which helps separate grain from straw, ripped open. You see at the end of the tube is a rubber flap that helps shoot the straw downward into the straw spreaders, dispersing the straw within the field. That rubber flap is a wear part and is replaceable as it bolts into a metal bracket. The metal bracket is welded onto the tine rotor tube, and it was that weld where the bracket broke off tore out and ripped up the rotor tube. This breakdown, unfortunately, is not uncommon 
on worn down combines. This one here is 14 years old after all. We removed the rotor housing in hopes of a quick repair, but John Deere wanted $11,000 for a new tube, so we sought out a used one with not much luck. In other words, with only 300 acres remaining, the 9660 CTS would not be able to complete the 2018 rice harvest. This left us with two combines, and Pops and I seriously considering the need of a newer, more reliable machine. Then BAM! The Lexion went down, sprung a hydraulic leak in the early evening. It was painful to watch our only machine, our oldest, slowest John Deere CTS-2, making its rounds, passing me every so often as the sun went down. <laughs> the mechanics found the leak where two hydraulic hoses were rubbing against each other. They replaced those hoses quick and I was cutting rice as the morning dew had dried off the rice plants. And Pops lets me know that he's found a lightly used 2014 Kloss Lexion 750 at a fair price and it would definitely help us get through our last couple hundred acres of down lazy rice. Then BAM! <laughs> operator driving the John Deere CTS-2 ran into a duck blind. To his credit, the blind was arbitrarily in the field. The rice was down, but had spots the size of a pickup truck scattered about that was standing. So the taller weeds and standing rice around the blind helped it blend into those standing portions of the field. Also, no one warned him about it, but still, he ran into a duck blind. But all he really did was break off a couple of these metal reel fingers, so there was no actual mechanic damage just a quick $20 replacement job. The thing is though, that one of the reel fingers sprung back on the metal duck blind, creating tension, and when it snapped off, it rocketed back and hit the front windshield. It shattered. Fortunately, the operator was okay, just startled. The CTS-2, on the other hand, would require a new $1,500 front windshield plus $200 two, three-day freight and whatever installation costs. With only 200 acres remaining, the CTS-2 would not be able to complete the 2018 rice harvest. So Pops and I, as they say, pulled the trigger and bought the Kloss Lexion 750 with a 25-foot header. The machine can do a bit more than the two older retired John Deere's combined, bringing our harvest capacity back up to where it was. A bit better, actually. And that's where we're at now. We've been cutting away. I'm super excited to give you a tour of the 750 in a future episode. We just have this last field to cut. We should be finished with the 2018 rice harvest today. But that doesn't mean I'm finished with harvest videos. I have that 360 degree bank out video to still share. Also during one of the rainy days, I visited the California Rice Experiment Station and witnessed the crew there harvesting variety plots by hand. And I've been collecting beautiful sunset clips for my harvest sunset video. I think that one will be a little poetic. Thanks to Holt Ag Solutions for keeping our old 585R running and finding us this newer 750. Thanks for those of you watching and being patient with the lack of uploads recently. It's just been really busy, stressful, second half of harvest. I'm exhausted. I'm just, I'm just so, whew, I'm exhausted. We're all exhausted. We're all exhausted. Who said that? Everyone's, everyone's saying that. I guess we gotta get started soon. Anyway, well guys, I'm gonna start cutting some rice and get this crop year finished, hopefully without another breakdown. Let's go. Away we go.
that you'll make the next edition of rice farming. I'm just a bystander. <laughs> <laughs>